okay we'll come again today we'll see uh, biology grade 10 unit 4 about food making and growth implants tutorial part 4 so don't forget like subscribe my channel which is known as the science studio under unit 4 uh, unit uh, food making and uh, growth implants uh, our today tutorial is uh, about response implants which is 4.4 response implants Four point four response in the plants. Let us see four point four point one germination of seed. The basic structure of seeds are one endosperm food storage tissue. The second one an embryo which consists of plumel and embryonic shoots which grow into embryonic shoots. The second one radical is also constant uh, of embryo radicals and embryonic roots whereas cotyledon is an embryonic leaf it can be monocots have one cotyledon or dicot have two cotyledon the other is testa or seed coats which protects the seed the other is macropyle is a tiny hole on the seed please Look the parts of it from this picture: polymer, radical, cotyledon, testa, endosperm. So on. The factor need for germinations: water aid in hydrolysis of stored food into soluble materials. The other is temperature or warmth for optimizing optimum enzyme activity the other is oxygen or air for aerobic respiration that produce energy for germination so three things must be needed in germination water temperature oxygen in place of temperature we can say warmth in place of water we can say moisture in place of oxygen we can say air enzyme in seed the stays converts starch to simple sugar where lipase hydrolyzes fat into fat acid and glycerol and uh, pro uh, proteolytic hydrolysis protein into amino acid the stage development of plants zygote grow into embryo embryo grow into seedlings seedling again go to germination types of germination epigel germination which means cotyledon are carried above the ground means cotyledon is moved above the ground the elongation of a uh, hypocotyl brings cotyledon above the ground Most example most dicot plants are example of epigel germination whereas a few monocot are example of epigel germination. We can see all seed, granulate, cotton, onions and lilies. Epigel germinations uh, uh, epicotyles are a region above cotyledons which uh, gives rise to young leaves. Hypocotyl the stem le uh, likes uh, uh, area below cotyledon which gives rise to embryonic roots. Look from this picture. Epigel germination, the second one is uh, hypogel germination. Cotyledon is below the ground. 
means cotyledon grows under uh, ground elongation of epicotyles leaving the uh, cotyledon below the ground the most monocots maize wheat sorghum millet and few dicots like kid kidney bean and broad bean are example of hypogeal germination we can look we can see from this picture the forest uh, leaf uh, grew to under ground the factor need for germinations water aid in hydrolysis of stored food into soluble materials the other is temperature or warmth for optimizing optimum enzyme activity the other is oxygen or air for aerobic respiration that produce energy for germination so three things must be needed in germination water temperature oxygen in place of temperature we can say warmth in place of water we can say moisture in place of oxygen we can say air In general, plant hormones are chemical messengers that regulate plant growth and development. The main plant hormones are oxygen, gabulin acid, cytokinins, abscisic acid, and ethylene. One oxygen is the best known plant hormone and involved in general plant growth. Oxen made at the tip of main shoot and work travels downward as plants. Oxen affect plant growth in different ways such as stimulating stimulating the elongation of new plant cell or at apical dominance means at the tip allowing it to grow taller means to increase its exposure to sunlight stimulate the growth of root on cuttings and also participate in seed germination it prevents failing of root before ripening and the well-known example is in dual 3 acetic acid IAA two gerblins it stimulates growth of plants stem makes your plants grow in normal size it helps to break the dormant period and start germinations it stimulates production of enzymes found stored in the seed 4.4 response in the plants let us see 4.4.1 germination of seed the basic structure of seeds are one endosperm food storage tissue the second one an embryo which consists of plumel and embryonic shoots which grow into embryonic shoots the second one radical abscisic acid inhibit the growth of it is growth of plants it play a major role in leaf form it involved in seed dormancy it helps seed to break the dormant bread and start to grow it involved in geotropism the other the physio one is ethylene it is gas at room temperature it promotes fruit arrival it causes fruits and leaves 
to fail from the past. 4.4.3 Tropic response or tropism is the directional growth movement to stimulus. Positive tumor, uh, tropism grows toward stimulus. Stimuli, while negative tropism is grows away from stimuli. Phototropism, the directional growth movement in response to light. For example, shoot is positive phototropism, whereas root is negative phototropism. Means shoot is grow to the light. It is positive to phototropism when a root is away from the light, which is negative phototropism. In that instead, the estate, the converts starch to simple sugar, where lipase hydrolyzes fat into fat acid and glycerol, and uh, pro, uh, proteolytic hydrolysis protein into amino acid. The stage development of plants, they got grow into embryo, embryo grow into seedlings, seedling again go to germination. Tropic response. Phototropism stimulus is light, shoot is positively phototropic, and root is negative phototropic. Geotropism is uh, the second tropism when uh, gravity is the stimulus, shoot is negatively geotropism, whereas root is positively geotropism. Hydrotropism Water is the uh, stimulus, root are positively hydrotropism. Chemotropism, chemical is the stimulus, pollen tubes, and hive of some fungi. Positively chemotropism. Tigmotropism or hypotropism, touch is the stimulus, gross movement in response to touch is known as tigmotropism stem is positively hypotropism investigating the response of seedlings to gravity the response of seedling to gravity can be investigated using a piece of apparatus known as clinostats Plant responds to unilateral stimuli. Clinostat cancels the effect of unilateral stimuli or gravity by rotating the disc. The seedling horizontally fixed to clinostat, both shoot and root continue to grow straight. We can see from this the second picture the shoots and the root also grow horizontal because clonus started rotating these uh, the materials that clonus when it is uh, rotated the response is cancelled Nastic movement is non-directional response to stimuli. It is independent of stimulus position. Example, opening and closing of stomata. There not any position of stimulus. Response, uh, tropic response. Is directional response depend on the direction of stimulus. Example, phototropism, hydrotropism, so on. For example, we can look this flower when the light is present, it is open. When the light is absent, it closed itself because it is directional response. 
investigating role of hormone in plant growth, the maize grain germinate to produce straight shoots. It's called coleoptils. Uh, Coleoptils uh, widely uh, used in experiments to investigate the role of hormone in plants. In general, investigating the role of hormone in plants by using a young plant that is known as coleoptiles. Don't forget. When the tip of coleoptiles are removed or the Captated. The coleoptiles did not do not grow since the source of oxygen or endoil three acetic acid is removed. The flower of uh, decapted or removed seed to grow suggests that. Exune probably produced in the tip. Look, cutting at the tip of coleoptiles, leaf inside. Again, there is another new tips can be produced because a presence of exune in at the tip. When the plant placed horizontally, due to a force of gravity, axion accumulates lower side. Axion promotes shoot growth and shoot growth upward. Axion inhibits cell growth in lower cell layer and root growth downwards. Look, plant responds to change in gravity. The directional growth of gravity plant when we turn side the plant, the growth of a uh, shoot is upwards when the growth of root is downwards. When the shoot is uh, lit for, uh, from the one side of one side only, the light involved in direction of action in the shoot. Axion diffuse toward the dark side of the shoot. The dark side grow faster than illuminated one. Growth is direct, directly proportional to axon. The shaded side grows faster than illuminated side, so the shoot bend toward light. Revocations, page 179. Which of the following is not tropic response in plants? A. Phototropism. B. Geotropism. C. Nitrotropism. D. Hydrotropism. The answer should be C. Nitrotropism. It's not tropic response in plants. The young shoots, which are often used to experiment on tropism, are known as A. Coleoptiles. B. Adventitious roots. C. Cotyledons. D. Corneocopia. The answer should be A. Coleoptiles. Question number three. Which of the following is not plant hormone? A. IAA. B. Gabrolin. C. Abscisic acid. D. Adrenaline. The answer should be D. Adrenaline. Because it is human hormone. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and listen to the channel. In our next tutorial, we will see chapter 5. Until that, good time for you. Thank you again.